if you've seen some of my previous videos, well, then I think you can see that I'm uh, some kind of a Samsung fanboy. And I thought I should give you an overview of uh, what I have and uh, how they work together. Plus, I might mention something about what I'm planning to buy in the future. Cheers from Sweden and welcome to my channel. I post videos about being productive on your Samsung devices, so if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe for more. Everyone more or less have heard about how good the Apple ecosystem is. How your iPhone can connect to your MacBook and your iPad. And it just works. Well, the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem is working pretty good too. Your Galaxy phone can connect to your Galaxy Book and your Galaxy Tablet, and it also just works. But what do I use when it comes to the Galaxy ecosystem? I use a Galaxy S23 Ultra uh, as my main phone. I rent this phone from Samsung and my plan is to uh, send it back when the S25 Ultra is being released. Hopefully early next year. The S23 Ultra is also in a way uh, my hub. I get all my notifications on this phone and uh, I use an app called Bridge to... Uh, send these notifications to my other Samsung and Android devices. I also use the S23 Ultra to film all of my videos apart from this part that I filmed with my good old S10e, my first Samsung phone. When it comes to the Galaxy tablets, <coughs> I went more or less overboard. I use on a daily basis a uh, Galaxy Tab S9 and I also have a Tab S8 Ultra and a Tab S7 Plus. And I recently also bought a Tab A9 as well. I kind of like using tablets, but I admit that four of them might be some kind of overkill. I can do pretty much everything on my tablet with the right accessories like the included S Pen or my favorite keyboard case, the Doco Maglab keyboard case. I can edit videos and photos, write scripts, read books, draw, draw, listen to music, record music, and much more. When it comes to computers, well, I have three Galaxy Books for the moment. Two Samsung Galaxy Book Pro, one uh, 13 inch from uh, 2021. That's the first Galaxy Book Pro. And last year I bought a Galaxy Book 3 Pro, 16 inch. This year I bought the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. My phone is connected to these computers via the Link to Windows app and via my Samsung account for the Samsung services. I can also use multi-control to, uh, well, control my tablets and my phone using my laptop. And I can use my phone as a webcam during meetings. Pretty neat, cause the camera on the phone is much better than the one on the laptops. I also bought a Samsung TV this year. My old TV from um, LG went bananas, more or less. It was a pixel war 
on the screen. So I had to buy a new TV. And of course, since I'm a Samsung fanboy, this new TV had to be from Samsung. Plus, they don't cost that much here in Sweden. The one I ended up with was the 65-inch GU875 Crystal UHD 4K from 2024. And I paid somewhere around $930 tax included. I have all of my streaming services on this TV. And I can, of course, use any of my Galaxy Buds uh, if I want some more immersive sound. I also use a Samsung soundbar for this TV. And of course, my other Samsung devices can play with the TV as well. I can use my phone or tablets as a remote control. Or I can mirror the screen on my laptop, for instance. The reason that I got stuck in the Samsung world was my first uh, Samsung watch, actually. The Active 2 that I bought in late 2019. At this time I used a Nokia phone. I think it was a... Nokia 10 or Nokia X10. But there was some issues with the uh, Bluetooth. So um, I bought a Galaxy S10e instead. And the rest is history. My watch for the moment is the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro from 2022. That one still works just like charm and and the battery life is great. After around 24 hours of use, I usually end up with around 77% left on the battery. Not too bad at all. But the Galaxy Watch wasn't my first Samsung purchase. I bought a pair of Galaxy Buds, the first version, in early 2019. I wanted some wireless earbuds and uh, these had some good reviews and the price was right. Now I have a Galaxy Buds Live, um, Galaxy Buds 2. Um, the Buds Pro, the Buds Pro 2, and also the Buds Pro 3. I normally use my Galaxy Buds 2 and the Pro 3, usually when I'm out walking on my lunch break. If I could dream a little bit, I would like Samsung to release an over-ear headphones like some Galaxy Buds Ultra or something. That would be great. I have four Samsung monitors that I use from time to time. Two of them a bit more than the other two. I use a 32-inch Viewfinity S8 with my Galaxy Book 3 Pro laptop. And I use the uh, Smart Monitor M8 that also acts as a smart thing hub when I work with my um, tablets. The other two monitors are also smart monitors, but they are the M5 instead. And I have a 27 inch and a 32 inch version. My next tablet will be the Tab S10 Plus whenever that one is being released. It will replace my S7 Plus and I hope there will be some good trade-ins when 
the Tab S10 line is being released. Other than that, I don't know. Somehow I always find some way to uh, must buy something from Samsung. We'll see. I wish I was made of money. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a lovely day. Bye!